North Korea tested a submarine launch ballistic missile on Saturday, and on this Monday, the South's government and ruling party held an emergency meeting. Most experts safely assume the reclusive regime was barely scratching the surface in terms of that technology. Na Young-kyung reports on South Korea's response following this rude wake-up call. Responding to concerns about not having effective missile defense systems, South Korea's defense chief said Seoul and Washington have the combined military capability to counter North Korea's provocations. South Korea and the U.S. have been sharing information to assess North Korea submarine launched the ballistic missiles. The South Korean military will halt Pyongyang's chain of provocation through relentless countermeasures. This comes after North Korea said it has successfully conducted a test of a submarine-launched ballistic missile over the weekend as part of the regime's expanding arsenal. At a regular press briefing on Monday, Defense Ministry spokesman Kim min Suk said the military is seriously concerned about the situation and urged Pyongyang to immediately cease development of weapons. But he also mentioned that it seemed to be an early-stage test. The North's latest ejection test was a novice effort, shooting a dummy projectile Soviet-era imitation from an underwater platform. Other military sources say the North will be able to equip the Shinpo-class submarines with SLBMs in two to three years, though they add that it will take Pyongyang about four to five years to have fully operational SLBMs. The chairman of South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff will meet with General Curtis Skeparati, the commander of U.S. Forces Korea, on Tuesday to enhance efforts to strengthen deterrence against the recent threat. Dae Hyun-kyung, Arirang News.